I tried to stop them, but they had a warrant. What the hell is this all about? We were about to ask you the same thing. I'm telling you I've never seen those files in my life. So then what were they doing in your office storage space, Mr. Case? I don't have the slightest idea. <laughs> Are we really going to play this game where you deny things that you and I both know are true? Like you telling me that you didn't know Edmund. We ran a background check. You and Edmund were business associates, so why would you claim that you didn't know him unless you were hiding something? Like your involvement with Sunco funding? Did the two of you talk about how much money you could make if you could just bend the rules? how easy it would be to forge documents to put people into mortgages that they couldn't afford, and how you could make a quick buck by selling them off to investors. There's nothing in those files that can implicate me, and nothing to tie me to Sunco funding or to that man's death. That clock that was stolen, where did it come from? I'm not sure. Well, I'll have to ask my decorator. Don't bother. We already have documents that prove it belonged to the Cabots. Who are the Cabots? One of the families whose house you stole. They put that clock up as collateral against a loan, and when they couldn't make the payments, Suncove funding kept it, and that connects you to Suncove. <clears throat> when you saw Edmund that night, you realized that he was going after the files because he was going to blow the whistle on Suncove. You knew that Edmund could implicate you, so you killed him. No. You're wrong. The U.S. Attorney's Office would freeze your assets. They would seize all of your money. You were going to lose everything. Now, that is motive, that is opportunity, and that is enough for any jury to convict you. I did not kill Edmund. <sighs> but I know who did. She was here. She stopped by the party. 